We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Provo Beast doing another install today. Today we're working on this Toyota Corolla and what we're going to be doing is installing a five channel amplifier. So first things first, we got to run a power wire from our battery positive through the firewall into the trunk area. Now where our plans are mounting the amplifier on the back of the rear seats. And so as we run this power wire, we're going to make sure we run it in a way that it's not in the way of the pedals. Um, and it's super clean along the panels inside the car as well. So what I've started doing here is uh, We put our inline fuse we mounted it to the back here nice and solid little cap goes on top there now as you can see here There's your factory grommet way down inside what I did and I'll show you here What I did is I took a hanger and taped the wire on the other end and you can either use an X-Acto knife or puncture a hole using a screwdriver, but be super careful. You don't want to damage your wiring. Push a hole through and then you can feed your wire through. And then with a little WD-40 on that end, you can pull the wire on through the firewall itself. So that's the easiest way as I've done there. Just slipped it on through. Now here as well, mounted the fuse and I ran this along and then this will go to our power positive. Go ahead and pull your negative off just so you're safe, but that'll go right there on that top stud. So, we're just about done under the hood here. We're going to zip tie this wire so it's just not uh, flopping around inside the engine bay. Here inside the car, that's where that comes on out. Now we're going to follow the factory wiring. You can either go directly down underneath the carpet, or you can work it on over along that factory wiring. Now we're going to run it under these kick panels, working our way to the back of the seat area. All right, so what we've done is just ran the wire straight down under the carpet. Then we ran it. We popped this panel out. Just held on with clips. And basically, let's just clamp onto this lip. They just lift right off, and so does this kick panel. And I ran the wire down, as you can see there, up through. This pops off. There's just a clip here. You just put a little pressure, and it pops out. And same thing on this side, you just put a little pressure and this pops out so you can run the wire up through the B pillar. This pops free. And then the seat, if you give a good tug right here, will actually come loose. And then just has that, that rod goes into that receptor. And then I fed the wire up through this area up underneath the seat. Because we're going to mount our amplifier right in this, in this location. So, that's done. We're going to get these panels all put together and just in reverse order and then we're going to head over and start working on the ground, RCAs, and speaker wire. Alright, so we finished putting our panels all back together on both front and back sides and at this time we're going to, we've done our ground. Now as you can see here, we've cleaned the paint off really, really well and we chose this location because there's a spot weld here so we know this is over the, uh, since it's a unibody car, it's over the, one of the thicker areas of the car. So we chose that location for good ground. Make sure you clean the paint off really well and use some self-tapper screws. Now, if you have a bolt and nut, you're welcome to do that as well. We ran our ground wire up here along with our power wire. Now this wire is our base knob wire. Um, we just ran that up front. Next thing, what we're gonna be doing is running our RCAs and our speaker wire from our amplifier up to our head unit. Now, since this is of a five channel amp, one channel is specifically for our sub there, and four channels are for the speakers. The two rear speakers, we're just gonna wire directly since they are in the rear panel here. And then the other two speakers, we're gonna run up and wire behind the dash, leading to the speakers themselves in the doors. So, let's go ahead and get that ready to go, and we'll kinda show you how to do so. Now we're gonna run it in a similar fashion along the kick panels on the other side of the car, working our way up to our Pioneer radio. All right, since we need to get back behind the radio so we can install our RCAs or speaker wire and a remote turn on wire for our amplifier, we need to actually remove the radio. And to do so, we have to remove this dash bezel. Um, these knobs do come off and it does expose screws. And once we get the middle center console out, the rest is held on with clips, this center piece also just pops on out. So using a panel tool, I went ahead and just kind of pop this guy loose. 
kind of lean it off there to the side. All right, so we went ahead and removed that one screw. Now the wrist is held on with clips. Now you may see other, everybody else, but you can just kind of get a hold of this center console, give it a tug, and what's gonna do is gonna release these clips all the way around as this is one piece. I really worked it loose, and there you can see there's two clips up here on the side. If you need a little help or relief with this, you can pop this out. And essentially, it gives us the space we need. So way down inside there, you're gonna see our mounting screws for our radio. So go ahead and remove those guys. They're 10 millimeter. Um, go ahead and remove them. Once they're removed, then this radio dash piece call comes out one piece. Okay, so once you remove your two screws here, actually four, um, you're gonna go ahead now, the rest is held, held on just with clips. You can use the panel tool to help relieve it all the way around. But essentially, it just all comes out in one piece. So you may have to give it a good tug. Uh, be super, super, super gentle. You don't want to break anything. And then uh, the radio will come free. Okay, at this point, there's clip areas and it clips on here at the top. So just relieve the clips. It just comes right on out. And of course, we've already replaced the radio in this Corolla. So at this time, with this all good to go, what we're going to do is uh, run our RCAs and our speaker wire up to this center dash location from the rear of the car. Now we'll probably use a hanger to fish the wire up and through, go under the carpet, and then head back similarly to the power wire over to the amplifier. Okay, so what I've done here is I have our four channel RCAs, and then two pairs of speaker wire for our front doors, and a remote turner wire, and I've taped them every foot or so, keep them nice and clean, and we're gonna start running them along this side of the car. So we started. Okay, so I started running my cables here. I ran them up, now I pop the glove box out. You just push these tabs in here on each side. Then the glove box just lifts off the, the hinges and just can kind of let it rest here. And as you can see, I've taped those RCAs and speaker wire down the factory Walloo and it'll go down to the floor. All right, so we've run the cable up underneath here. Worked our way up and over. And because it'll go right under the seat the seat pops right on out and then I've actually just ran it up underneath the carpet super easy to do so it looks super clean and then it's time to hook up the other wires to the amplifier okay so we're starting to hook up speaker wire so our speaker wire that comes from the output of the amplifier speaker output we ran all the way from the back of the amp all the way up here and the reason why I'm doing this so I don't have to run new wire through the boot of the door we're gonna use the factory wiring because we're running about um, between 15 and 75 watt RMS tops. So really if you go any higher than that, certainly you want to upgrade that wiring, but at this point this will be just fine. Uh, running from the back of the amplifier, we're going to go into the wiring harness and as you can see here when we plug this in, that speaker wire will go from our amplifier right into our wiring harness and our wiring harness goes to the doors. So you don't have to run new wire, super convenient. You can also do that for the rear speakers as well if you want to do that all at the same time. But fortunately with this Corolla, the rear speakers actually are pretty accessible in the back truck area. So we can run direct wires right to those speakers. Um, so we don't have to actually cut these. Now the wires from our radio that we're no longer using, we're just going to tape off. Because we're not going to use the speaker output from our radio. Rather, we're using the RCAs. Hopefully that all makes sense. Now in addition to our speaker wire, we did hook up our remote turn on wire to our amplifier to the blue white wire on the aftermarket radio. Um, if you're using a stock radio here in this application, rather than, because you're not going to have a blue white wire, you're going to tap into the um, into the ignition wire, and that ignition wire, um, generally it's this red wire on the aftermarket one, but you're going to locate it here in the harness, allowing you to have a switch source so when the car turns on, your amp will turn on as well. little tidbit for you. At this point, we're going to tape these ends up, we're gonna zip tie all this back together. We're gonna plug our RCAs into the back of the radio and get our radio back in the dash. All right, so we got everything hooked back up. RCAs are plugged in. We're good to go. All right, so we went ahead and got our amp mounted, got our positive and negative all hooked up, got our remote turn on wire hooked in, and our four sets of speaker wire. We got our uh, subwoofer wire all in there as well. And then the two front ones are good because they go up front. And then the two back ones, I kind of have them out. I'll show you here in the truck here in a moment how I'm going to run those. RCAs and base knob all plugged in. So 
super super clean so at this time we are uh, just about there we're going to start reassembling getting the front all taken care of and hooking up the rear speakers all right there's our amplifier with the back shut Looks super clean and here's our wiring for our rear speakers we're actually going to be replacing these so i'll post the link in the video exactly how we replace the rear speakers on a corolla but essentially these are going to plug into the aftermarket speakers so we're not going to mess with the stock wiring here on these stock speakers um, our new Rockford Fosgate rear 6x9 six six speakers will have harnesses that will connect into these and these will go right to the speaker. So it'll look super clean. Um, ends up to you. Essentially you just need to hook these up however you do so to your aftermarket or factory wiring. At this point we are all good to go. I got the front all put back together. We got our seat all reinstalled. Panels are all back together. Look super clean. Go ahead and get the negative back on the battery here as well. Make sure you tighten that nice and tight. Now in this case we do have a base knob. We're just going to mount that up underneath the dash so it's still clean and out of the way but easily accessible. And at this point this install is good to go. If you have any questions about this install just go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel. Appreciate your support and we'll certainly see you in the next video.